Alright, so to get this deck out of here, all you really need is a Phillips screwdriver in your hands. Um, we're going to start at the bottom here, uh, remove this little piece, and then around the edge of this unit there's kind of snaps that hold it in, there's no screws. And uh, in order for it to pull far enough we'll have to clear the shifter. So doing this, normally you know if you're working on your stereo you have the battery out. In this case we're going to need the battery in because we need to turn the car on and shift it down into neutral or less. Um, at that point you'd be able to take the battery out if you're a stickler, but today we're not going to worry about that. So, uh, to start with, we need to reach in and pop this plate out. As you can see, mine's been out, so it's a little simpler than some, but it's basically based on these type of metal clips. Uh, you'll then reach back here and unplug the cigarette lighter. Cigar lighter, <laughs> depending on where you come from in the world. Just sit down here. Go ahead, find the little tab. All right. Sometimes you got to push on the tab with your screwdriver while you're pulling on it. Friendly today. <sighs> you son of a bitch. All right. Well, you know what? It doesn't need to be completely unplugged. And if it's giving you that hard of a time, don't even worry about it. Just grab on here to this section now, and as you'll see, the whole thing by pulling here comes loose all the way up. Where it gets a little weaker is at the top there in that corner. You want to make sure that you just tug that out. Now, put the car back in park so it doesn't roll away on us. Back in here, you're going to have some plugs that connect the clock and the, uh, the controls, the heat controls. The clock is pretty easy. It's got a push-pull and you can obviously tell the clips on them, so you've basically got these two wires to deal with. The tougher part is this darn um, climate control system. It's got big connectors, but again, if you work them, you'll be able to pull that right out. And that will free this faceplate. Alright, so there's the business end of our, we've got our power connectors for the climate controls, we've got power connectors for things at the top, and the radio. The radio now is simply held in by four Phillips screws, and uh, we'll go ahead and remove those next. Well, I guess this one is held in by three Phillips screws. Somebody got lazy last time. They took it apart. Okay, and now, now we'll simply pull it forward and work just like everything else. You've got a couple of plugs to remove that relate to the um, power and speakers and one for the antenna. These are again quite straightforward, the um, uh, power wires at least. Let's get you tuned in here. But the antenna wire looks a little bit tricky, it's not too bad. You basically want to press on this tab and pull. Okay, so it has a little locking tab that holds it on there. Whereas an aftermarket radio, it would just pull right out of there. And there's your uh, Chrysler stereo. Now, when I installed the amplifier in this car, how we did it is we brought forward, um, let's see here, we brought forward a set of four wires from the back that are hooked to two of the channels to the amp, so say left and right, and I cut the factory end and spliced these in to the factory wires so that they would then feed the speakers. 
we're going to remove that now because we're sending the car back and we just want to put it back to factory so basically I'm going to pull these wires off re-splice these matching colors for colors and uh, we'll be back to factory as far as the front end of the system goes when we get to the rear end of the system we'll do that in a separate video on uh, how the amp went in here and how to wire it up I'll see you shortly <laughs> 